basic idea of the air choke, or ugly ballon, is a length of coax wrapped neatly around a non-metallic cylinder. Here I'm using a length of 4 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. The diameter of the cylinder is not as important as the length of the coax, which should be around 20 feet. The first thing I do is connect one end of the coax to the pipe using a zip tie. I shove the loose end of the coax into the end of the pipe so it doesn't get in the way while wrapping the coax. Prior to the video, I stretched out the coax and used blue tape to mark off 20 foot section. Once I get the coax wrapped where I want it, I mark the pipe for length, then unwrap the coax and cut the pipe. Well, I thought that was going to be a cool shot. You see, I had the pipe there, and I took the saw and I kind of swing the saw down, and it cuts the pipe, sort of magically cuts the pipe, right? Yeah, that could have been a cool shot, but it wasn't. I don't know if you remember seeing me do this. But, I remember just after I made the cut, this is the result. Since I cut the end of my coax off while cutting the pipe, I need to move the tape marks down, so I have enough coax to reach from the choke to my antenna. I use a cutoff piece of coax to measure how far to move the tape. Now that that's all sorted out, I can reattach the coax to the pipe and wrap it back up. You want the coax to be wrapped neatly on the pipe. You don't want it to overlap itself at all. I put this piece of tape on the coax, just to hold it in place while I drill the holes for the zip tie. Be careful not to damage the coax with the drill bit. Alright, after I finished this I realized that these wraps were too sloppy and flopped around too much so the original video I finished I had added these two um, zip ties to hold everything in place and there was entirely too loose so since then I've gone back and added six more around the sides for a total of eight zip ties kind of in quarters around the thing and, and it's really solid tight now much better